is Liberian TV Network with me, Lloyd Farley. And of course, today we are here in uh, one of the towns within Kavala District called Jainzon. Jainzon is the commercial capital of the Niao Chidom, the Niao and the Gawo Chidom. Niao is the late President Samuel Kanyado wife, Nessu Do, hail from. And this town is where she hail from. And of course, as you can see all the way there, uh, that's the building for uh, the first lady, the former first lady of the Republic of Liberia, uh, Madam. That, uh, as you can see there, that's the home of the former first lady of Liberia, Madam Nessie Bido. There you see there is the school uh, where the students from here are going to school. And this is the school page uh, for uh, the town, also for the giant zone. And this is an elementary school. All the way there you see is the receiver of the town to enable the people to freely communicate. As you can see now, the kids that are here trying to exercise themselves uh, as they play uh, football. As you learn, this school stopped to the sixth grade class. Now, another development that uh, caught the eyes is the construction of this modern town hall. And this modern town hall, as we learn, it is being sponsored by the Niao citizen in the United States of America. And this hall, uh, it can give you uh, the total cost of this building. But very big, large enough. Uh, let me see whether I can go within. But as you can see, this, if completed, will be one of the modern, modern town hall within the Kavara district. And of course, I can safely say it will be the modern and most, mo uh, uh, it's one of the second largest town hall within Grand Gila County. Take a look, take a look and see for yourself. Take a look. And we are opposite. As you can see, this is one of the offices. This is another one. This is another one. This is the bathroom. Two bathrooms. One for the male and one for the female. Another office here again. And the exit of the building. And of course, as you can see, the goats are here. Cattle are also in this town. But the thing is, can the people of Niao Chidon manage this? I'm quite sure that yes, indeed, they can do. So uh, we are here in Jainzon, Niao Chidon, where you see some beautiful trees. And this is um, the mango tree. Plum tree. Yeah. And so it is bearing. And I know very soon uh, people will benefit from it. And this is the pump where women are going to draw water at this beautiful time. Jansen is one of the biggest towns within the Niao Chidom and in fact Grand Gida County. But yet and still, people still live in tax houses. But it is very clean, as you can see. Very, very clean. And uh, it's one of the uh, cleanest town within this belt. And it is just about 15 kilometers away from its region. One of the problems they have is the lack of market building. But I can safely tell you that the Jansen belt is noted for producing foods for uh, Grand Gida and it is known for its 
uh, agricultural productivity and it is considered as a bread basket for Grand Jida County, especially the entire Niao Belt. But what is it that at this time market building has not been constructed? This is one of the questions that people continue to ask. And I'm sure if a market building is constructed in this particular area, it will fall at the people of uh, this kingdom to have access to people that will be coming from Morovia, the people that will be coming from Zweju and other parts of Liberia. Just then, the Kavara District Commissioner, on the boy Bila, I will just get a few words from him uh, on the issue of this uh, modern, modern town hall. Though it is yet to be completed, but I can tell you, safely very soon it will be completed. Mobile boy Bila, welcome. Yeah, thank you. What do you make of this uh, town hall, modern town hall, to be uh, the second to uh, the, the city hall in Georgia? Exactly. You see, Uh, one uh, from the Grand Jira Tivo Award as a, a best agriculture district. But yet and still, uh, a lack of market building is one of the problems. That's why uh, Nyao, especially the giants, don't have a market building. What are you uh, thinking of uh, on your plate as the district commissioner? Yeah, gradually, we are heading to that direction. We Here on in the Kabala the town hall in Buleken. So we'll be thinking on constructing a market building. What we'll do is just head in this place. We need to do it by the I want to wait for the central government to do it. We also arrange the partners. Proposals to see if that the market in Jansa. What could be a message to Grandidians in the diaspora uh, or, or perhaps uh, United States of America? What could be a message to them as we gear towards improving Kavala district? You know, Ghanaians want to go to Europe, they go also Identify yourself as a people. First thing to yourself. Significant contribution to the growth of our country. Thank you so much, Honorable Commission. Thank you. His name is Honorable Boy Bila. Yeah, of course, he is the district commissioner for Kavala District. But many thanks to all of you for always following Labyrinth TV Network. My name is Lloyd Nyanyo Fale, and today we are here in Giant Zone, one of uh, uh, the richest the towns within the Kavala district. And of course, uh, Kavala district, as I said earlier on, is considered as a bread uh, basket for Grand Julia County. Thanks so much for following. Don't forget to subscribe to the Labyrinth TV Network. If you have done it already, we'll say thank you. We adore you. We appreciate you. Have a jolly day from my end. I'm out. Bye-bye.